Okay, let's discuss two challenges in rate limiter. First one is race condition. As discussed earlier, our middleware read the counter value from Redis, then check if counter exceeds the threshold. If not, increment the value by 1 and store in Redis. Race condition can happen in a highly concurrent environment. For an example, there is read counter with value 3 in Redis. A new request came and Redis fetches the value and before incrementing by 1, another request came, so Redis will see the read counter value to 3 as it's not updated in first request yet. Oh, I see the problem here. The counter should be 5 instead of its 4. Yeah. To avoid this, we can use locks. Like when updating, lock the request in Redis. It will work, but it will slow down the system eventually. So better to use different approaches, sorted data structure or a Lua script. But let's not deep dive into this for now. Okay, tell me the second issue. Yes, synchronization is another important factor in a distributed environment. To handle millions of traffic, we have to use multiple rate limiter. In that environment, synchronization is required. So client 1 should send the request to a specific server only like to rate limiter 1 and client 2 to rate limiter 2. For that, we can use sticky sessions. For a stateless web tier, I will say it's not advisable as it's large scalable and flexible. Instead of that, we can use one centralized data store like Redis to store user data. Okay, now we're good to go with our rate limiter, right? Yes, but we have to keep an eye on the performance optimization. Like we have to set up multi-data center to avoid latency and continuous monitoring to gather the analytics to check whether the rate limiter is effective or not. Okay, in the next video, we will dive into consistent hashing. See ya!